Hey guys, it's Jason from Canine State of Mind. I, uh, I wanted to show you this video. It's really important because I try to be as transparent as I can about when I make mistakes. And this was a, just kind of a bonehead mistake that I made with a, uh, an excited bigger dog. Um, and uh, this is a, an eight month old Corso Mastiff. And I can't tell you how many times I've told people not to engage with them down on your knees on the floor playing with them at least until you trust them really well know them really well um, well we've had this guy for a couple of days and he's, he's he's doing great he's fantastic but he's a big powerful dog and his idea of what's fun and playing is not perceived by anybody else like that so it's really important to manage his excitement level and this video is going to show bridget uh, playing with him while she's in a chair playing a little fetch and you'll see him eat, and this is what they do they get they get riled up and they start to escalate and want to jump up and stuff and that's that's when it needs to be stopped and uh, I think the first time uh, he totally it's totally compliant she stops him perfect stands up you know changes the situation um, and he respects that and whatever well he ends up getting really happy and I'm in the room and uh he got the zoomies and zoomies mean he's happy having a great time right but he's also 100 pounds and i got a tiny little room in there uh so uh olive gets the zoomies a lot and i will uh, get down on my knees and kind of try to get her to just just slow down i don't want to i'm not going to correct it because you know it's it's just her being a happy just having a little spaz right and it's, it's, there's nothing bad about it if anything it shows that the dog's comfortable and happy Hey, hey, don't eat that. But um, you'll see uh, you, you'll see Banner here start to get the uh, the zoomies, and I I got down on the ground thinking I was going to get him to stop. I guess maybe I thought he would he would see me and uh, and trust me, maybe like Olive does. But uh, so he, you see, the first mistake I make is do that, and then um, and this is what corsos do instead of that being the end of it. He came back for a second round that was even more full force. And he, 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 he charged me in a happy, fun way from across the room, jumped and put me down by my neck. And absolutely my fault. I saw him coming at me, his teeth got around my neck. He didn't bite, he could have killed me if he wanted to. Well, he could have hurt me pretty bad. So I'm not concerned with that, but I thought it important to show uh, how these things build and why that was not the best way to handle a dog like this. Um, they're just, they're, they're a little bit more, um, they need a little bit more, you know, vigilant supervision uh, with uh, their mindset. And uh, they're just, it's, it's just harder to do with them because when they get excited, their excitement level at the same as a smaller dog, while perfectly healthy mindset wise, can cause damage and can freak other dogs out, put it, make everybody uncomfortable. And, and so he's eight months old, he's growing up. We, we don't want to teach him that, that that excitement level is okay. However, if he's going to get really excited and run around in circles for a minute, that's okay too. Um, but uh, <laughs> point is, here's why you don't get down on the ground uh, with a Mastiff uh, when he's got the zoomies. And... Um, now, I, and he didn't mean me any harm, and he never would, and the dog loves me, and it was actually quite funny. But it's important for the average dog owner, average person out there to see uh, what this looks like, um, because this truly was no uh, malicious attack on me. But when you look at it, it looks a little crazy, and it felt a little crazy when with him coming at me. He's a big dog. Um, but, uh, well, watch the video.
So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I just thought it important to share that with the world because I, uh, I talk a lot about being careful with uh, letting dogs get too excited and, and especially what you do when, when they do get excited and, and how it can go very bad if you don't, you know, mind your behavior. So uh, I appreciate you watching till the end. Um, please subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Uh, it's free and uh, we'll have some more good videos coming out. Um, and check us out on Facebook at K9 Data Mine SC. Uh, till then, thanks for watching.